In this video, we're going to review the proper techniques to achieve for preparing platelet poor plasma. But before we get started, let's take a minute to talk about plasma. Plasma is simply the liquid portion of the blood that contains clotting factors. Plasma is an important specimen due to the fact that most chemical substances tested for are found dissolved in the plasma. Plasma is obtained by collecting whole blood with an anticoagulant that prevents the blood from clotting. The blood is then centrifuged to remove the blood cells. The liquid on the top of the cells is plasma. Make sure you draw the proper volume of blood. Underfilled tubes will be rejected because the proportion of anticoagulant plasma will not be correct, and this can lead to misleading test results. After drawing and inverting the specimen the required number of times, your next step is to spin the tubes in the centrifuge. When loading the centrifuge, take care that the tubes are evenly balanced, spun at the proper speed, and for the proper length of time. Centrifuge for 15 minutes at 1500 G within one hour of collecting the specimen. Let's look at a sodium citrate specimen. After the specimen has been spun, it will look like this. While it may appear to be two layers at first glance, on further inspection, you will see that there are three distinct layers. These layers are the plasma, the buffy coat, and the cell layer. The plasma layer should be amber in color. If the plasma appears red-tinged instead of amber, your specimen is hemolyzed and will require recollection. Your next step is to remove the plasma layer, being very careful not to disturb the buffy coat layer or cell layer. Transfer the top three quarters of the plasma into a labeled tube using a transfer pipette. Never pour off plasma, as you will likely mix excess cells into the specimen. To remove the plasma, start with the top and very gently draw the specimen up into the pipette as you move the pipette further down into the tube. Leave about one half milliliter of plasma. Notice that you can still clearly define the three layers, the plasma, the buffy coat, and the cell layer. The plasma you separated goes back into the centrifuge for a second spin. Again, ensure tubes are balanced in the centrifuge. Once the tubes have spun for 15 minutes at 1500 G, carefully remove the tubes from the centrifuge and place in the rack. Pipette the plasma from the second spin into a labeled aliquot tube. Remember, you need to pipette the plasma and do not disturb the bottom one half milliliter. Promptly cap and freeze the specimen. Let's review the steps for creating platelet poor plasma. First, spin the tube in a balanced centrifuge for at least 15 minutes at 1500 G. Pipette off most of the plasma without disturbing the buffy coat or cell layers. Spin the specimen a second time in a balanced centrifuge for 15 minutes at 1500 G. Remove and rack the specimen and pipette it into a labeled aliquot tube and promptly place it in the freezer. There are no shortcuts in creating platelet-poor plasma. It is important that you perform a second spin, even if your plasma looks good to the naked eye after the first spin. Failure to spin the plasma a second time will result in too many platelets in the plasma, which interferes with testing. As with everything we do in the course of a day's work, creating platelet-poor plasma requires your focus and attention. Accuracy begins with you.